Everyone is different, but here's the thing. Everyone is predictably different. And because of that, you can predict how people will act or react, including yourself and in any given situation. Being able to communicate effectively is the most important of all life skills. It's indispensable. It's a game changer. It helps you get what you want. It helps you feel good. Communication will build your relationships, share your experiences, share your needs and wants, while helping connect you with others around you in a meaningful way. Do you want to enhance your results in your relationship? Then who are you communicating with? Your world is made up of four different types of people and you interact with these four types of people every single day. You're one of them. So which one are you? Do you like to get results and fast take action right now? Love a sense of a great challenge and winning almost at any cost, focused on the bottom line. If you were a car, you'd look like this, demonstrating confidence, ability to take charge with that tunnel vision on results at every opportunity. Acting fast and probably with some impatience at times. You dislike being taken advantage of or appearing weak. Then you use dominance as your preferred style of communication. Maybe you're that person with boundless enthusiasm. You're action oriented, a people person who collaborates, the life and soul of a party. If you were a car, you'd look like this. You're popular. You get excited about the smallest things. You have that energy that you can tap into at any point. You really do not like rejection, not being heard, or even worse, being left out. You lead through showing enthusiasm, working with people and building professional networks. Then you're an influencer. Or maybe you like stability, a harmonious environment for all the people that you care about. Something that is consistent, reliable, and secure. If you were a car, you'd look like this. Support, stability, collaboration, and harmony are all at the top of your list of priorities. You hate rapid change or even worse, letting people down. You lead with a steady, consistent pace, patience and showing diplomacy. Then steadiness is your strength. Or finally, you could be that highly precise, super accurate and detailed person. You take pride in accuracy in facts, objective processes and systems. If you were a car, you'd look like this. You don't like a loss of accuracy. You don't like being criticized or even worse, being wrong. You see the problems and display a strong sense of emotion that comes with them. Your style is to communicate with clarity in a factual way and promote disciplined analysis. Then you're conscientious. Now all styles have unique strengths and challenges and there are no wrong answers. Now you understand yourself, you can use these profiles to understand those around you too by following one simple rule. Now we all know the golden rule, which is to treat other people how you want to be treated. However, there's one rule that's above the golden rule. It's a rule that will improve your communication, impact your relationships and change your life forever. This rule is the platinum rule. Treat others the way that they want to be treated. People generally make the mistake of assuming that others interact and think the same way that they do. But to communicate in the most effective way with those around you, you need to understand how they communicate. Communicate with a dominant person with speed, results and action. Communicate with an influencer with fun, friendliness, optimism in a people-oriented manner. Communicate with a steady person with calmness, sincerity, patience and empathy. Communicate with a conscientious person with logic, facts, and accuracy. That's how they want to be treated, then treat them like that. How do you do this? By first being aware. Be aware by tuning in, paying attention, listening with your eyes, your ears, and your heart. Listen to what you hear, what you see, and what you feel. Focusing on giving someone else undivided attention so that you can understand their preferred communication style. Second is to adapt, adapt to the needs of those around you in work, at home, in your team, in your relationships. Then develop and practice thoughtful and deliberate adaptability to improve all of your communication. Adapting will increase the likelihood of you getting the results that you want and deserve. Fail to adapt and you'll fail to move forward. To adapt is to change and to move forward. Awareness and adapting are the keys to unlocking your communication. 
These two skills are the biggest defining characteristics of high level communication. In contrast, poor communication skills leads to frequent misunderstandings and frustrations. And most of the world are guilty of this every single day. Poor awareness, poor adapting, and poor communication stops you getting what you want. It makes you feel bad and others feel bad too. Situations worsen, arguments happen, tensions build, and confusions occur rapidly, leading to overwhelm, ambiguity, and stress, moving you and others to a place of discontent, distrust, and emotional turbulence. Communication is an indispensable component of life. It allows us to express feelings, pass on information, and share thoughts productively, effectively, and efficiently. Though true communication is in the response that you get, which simply means this, if you're not getting the response that you want, you're either saying the wrong thing or saying it in the wrong way. So first and foremost, be aware, recognize and identify your personal preferences and importantly, the communication styles of the people around you. Second, follow the platinum rule. Treat other people how they want to be treated. And third, adapt. Everyone is different and everyone is predictably different change your communication from this day on and watch how your world evolves.